Hi friends, in a historic milestone marking entry into the vital second stage of India's three-stage nuclear program, so friends, last week was a milestone week, not covered much by the media houses. So what happened? Last week, Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji witnessed the commencement of core loading at India's first indigenous fast breeder reactor or FBR as we call it at Kalpakam, Tamil Nadu. So friends, why this is so much important? As we all know, there will be a question in our mind that we have almost 20 plus nuclear reactors and they are generating power. But the total combined power generated by them is 4 to 5 percent of India's power generation till now. And why this is so? Yes, the reason is the fuel which is required for this power generation is uranium-235 and we have very less of uranium-235 reserves in our country. But we have abundance of thorium from historical times, from 1950s we are having and we have restored that thorium reserves and we have an export ban on thorium. So friends, now there is a milestone and the, in, after reaching the second st stage in the nuclear power generation, India has achieved a really big thing because now we will have power generation sufficient for 250 years for our country. And you, you will be surprised to know in 1950s, even UK and USA, they both wanted to have this capacity of fast breeder reactor, which is now when India enters, India will be the second country after Russia. So, will be second, not even third. So, after Russia, Russia, yes, they have achieved. So, India will be the only second country after Russia to have commercial operating fast breeder reactors. So, understand the importance of it. And then there is a small story also which I will like to present to you is that thorium reserves where USA wanted to have the exports from India to its own country. But we have kept it somehow and we have kept a ban on that and we have put a ban on the exports and so we our thorium reserves are still intact and if as we know the thorium directly does not uh, gives the fuel which is required for the power generation through nuclear fission reaction but it can be converted to uranium 235 which is easily which can generate nuclear power so now directly now friends we will not waste any further time we'll go to the video from here Keep watching the video till the end. How does India plan to meet its escalating energy needs, and what role does the fast breeder reactor play in this plan? Today, we delve into the significance of the fast breeder reactor in India's energy landscape and its critical role in the country's three-stage nuclear program. India, with its burgeoning population and rapid industrialization, has a voracious appetite for energy. But the country's hydrocarbon resources are limited. Nuclear energy presents a sustainable solution to meet these energy demands while simultaneously aiding in the decarbonization of the economy. However, this requires the right kind of fuel. India may not have considerable uranium reserves, but it is rich in thorium, which can be converted into uranium. This resource is enough to power India for over 250 years. But to harness this potential, India must progress through a three-stage nuclear program as envisioned by Homi Baba in the 1950s. The existing nuclear reactors in India, numbering over 20, are all part of this first stage. They burn uranium to generate power and produce plutonium for the second stage reactors. This is where the fast breeder reactor enters the picture. With the commencement of core loading at India's first indigenous fast breeder reactor, the country has now stepped into the second stage of its nuclear program. This reactor breeds more plutonium than it consumes, while also converting thorium to uranium-233. The dream of reaching the thorium stage is now closer than ever. The Fast Breeder Reactor, or FBR, will initially use uranium-plutonium mixed oxide fuel. The uranium-238 blanket surrounding the fuel core will undergo a nuclear transmutation process to produce more fuel, thereby earning its breeder title. The use of thorium-232, a non-fissile material, as a blanket is also envisioned in this stage. By transmutation, thorium will create fissile uranium-233, 
which will be used as fuel in the third stage. Thus, the FBR is a stepping stone for the third stage of the program, paving the way for the eventual full utilization of India's abundant thorium reserves. So, why is the fast breeder reactor significant? It's simple. This technological marvel is a pivotal player in India's three-stage nuclear program, a program designed to optimally harness the country's thorium reserves. The FBR marks a historic moment in India's nuclear journey, bringing the country one step closer to meeting its energy needs for the next 250 years. Moreover, it promises a drastic reduction in nuclear waste, contributing to a cleaner, greener future. In summary, the Fast Breeder Reactor is a game-changer in India's energy landscape. It not only signifies India's entry into the second stage of its nuclear program, but also brings the country closer to achieving its long-term energy goals. With comprehensive capabilities spanning the entire nuclear fuel cycle, India is now well-positioned to meet its energy demands for the foreseeable future, thanks to the Fast Breeder Reactor. This, indeed, is a defining moment for the country. Thanks friends for watching patiently and friends kindly like and subscribe to our channel. Here you will get all the current event updates and all the valuable information which are important for day to day life. Thank you and good luck friends.